Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we are just given the points and then we're asked to determine if two line segments, in this case AB and CD, are congruent. So what we need to do first is plot the points on an XY plane. This is how we do that. So here's our Y axis. Here's our X axis. First point A negative 2, 4, so that's two points in the negative direction on the x-axis, four spots in the positive direction in the y-axis, so there's our point A, and the coordinates are negative 2 and 4. Now point B is 3 and 4, so we go 1, 2, 3 in the x-direction, 1, 2, 3, 4 in the y-direction, so that gives us this point right there, that's point B, and the coordinates are 3 and 4 for x and y. So now here we have a line segment going from A to B, and now we, have, now we go to our next segment, so C is 0 and 2, that would be this point right there, this is C, this is 0 and 2, and D which is 0 and negative 2, so that would be negative 1, negative 2, that's down here, this is D, that would be 0 and negative 2. So here's our next line segment, which is right on top of the y-axis. So there's our two line segments, AB and CD. Now we need to determine if they have the same length. If they do, then they are congruent. If they are not the same length, then they are not congruent. Here you can see that the length from AB is determined by the change in the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate stays the same. So in this case, we can say, say that the length of line segment AB can be written as AB which can be determined by taking the distance between those two points which is simply the absolute value of the difference of the two x coordinates so that would be the absolute value of negative 2 minus 3 which is equal to the absolute value of minus 5 which is 5. Then we find the length of the other line segment the length of line segment CD which is equal to C times D without the line that this means the length of the line segment CD and so here we can see that the change is due to the change in the Y coordinate the X coordinate stays the same so that would be 2 minus a minus 2 we take the absolute value so this is 2 plus 2 absolute value which is the absolute value of 4 which is 4 now notice they do not appear to have the same length. So we can conclude, therefore, remember that symbol means therefore, AB is not congruent to CD. And so just put a line through it or simply say they are not congruent. And that's how it's done.